muffins this morning. I was watching um, Roots and Refuge, and she made a frittata, which, you know, almost the same thing, but not really. But it made me want some, and I was going to just make a frittata, but I wasn't sure if the family would eat that. So, we're going to do some egg muffins, and then even if they don't eat it, I can just save them for myself. But I know Nolan will eat these. I want to make some egg muffins here. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and try to make 12. We'll see. I did get my muffin tin here greased. When we was at Walmart this weekend, I was going to buy some metal some like aluminum foil wrappers for this. I've been wanting to forever. Finally remembered and put them in the cart. And that was the day that when the electric went out when we was in there and so we didn't get to make our purchases. So it's fine. We're just gonna deal with what we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are not, these are bantam eggs, bainy eggs. So they're little. We need a little bit of extra anyways. I don't even know where I'm at now. I lost count. So, I think we'll just do one more. It's a good way to get rid of a lot of eggs. Get these nice and mixed together. A little bit of half and half. A little bit of salt. And just a dash of pepper if I can get it. Camera's in my way. And then back here, if you can see it, um, I didn't want to deal with cutting up an onion and whatnot. And we had minced onions, and which is, um, anyways, we had minced onions. And I remember watching one of Fallon's videos, and she said that you could, you know, rehydrate them, just put them in water and let them sit. So I put them in some hot water and let them rehydrate while I done mopping and stuff this morning. I cleaned most of the house last night before I went to bed because it was a mess down here. And I don't enjoy going to bed with a messy house. So, I've done most of it except for mopping. So, I got that done this morning. Anyways. Okay. So, I think we're going to line them with ham. That might be a good idea. And it's delicious. So, we're going to line them with some ham here. I did grease it. Some of these have little rips and stuff in them, but that's okay. Okay, and then I'm only going to do onions in half of them uh, because no one's not a fan of onions of any kind. And I really hydrated too many. I think I wasn't sure about hydrating them again. I've never done that before. Now, we're going to put bacon in all of them. And I'm going the easy route here and just using some real bacon bits. one piece of sausage left from yesterday morning. I just put it into little bite-sized pieces. I shouldn't have done that. Because Wendy might try these. And she won't eat sausage. shredded cheese to all of them. I add some more bacon to these first three since they didn't get the extra sausage. Y'all, 
the bowl has a spout and a handle. Okay, so the light is terrible in here. Um, I'm going to clean out the girl's kennel here. Well, the brooder. This is not a kennel at all. Uh, I'm going to clean out the brooder. And I thought that I would take them out on a little field trip. Take them to their coop outside and just let them roam in there just a little bit. Experience ground. Um, because they've never done that. With our other chickens, I never took them out until they went out to stay out. We had a lot more that time. That time we had 10. Um, this time we only have four. We started with six. We lost one very quickly. And then a few days after that, we did lose another one of them. Um, so we're at four now. So they're easier to handle um, with just having the four of them. But... I am going to put them in the little kennel here that we've got and take them out. They're feisty little buggers and they're getting so big. The light in here is bad. But the little feathers. Say, I'm getting so big. Yeah. So big. They're going on three weeks now. So I'm going to put you in here. This is a trick that I have done. Um, I've done it with other chicks too. So much easier to keep it clean when you use paper towels. We did, with the other chicks, we did switch to um, pine shavings eventually. Pretty soon, I think before, like before now. But I'm really liking how the paper towels are super easy to clean up. You just, I lay out um, a puppy pad and then put the paper towels over top of them. And then you just roll up. Usually it's like only the top layers, which is the paper towels that get messy. You just roll it up, toss it, add more. Super easy. So that's what I enjoy doing, at least for now. What are you thinking? Yeah, a food look. Skittish. I mean, that's a given because they've never been outside before. The first time they've ever been outside other than like, you know, going to the shipment truck and in the vehicle ride home. So, No problem at all, right? What do you think, girls? Hopefully, girls. We already fighting. I hadn't brought their water out here. I had to go get the their water. So, got them some drink. Back here hiding in this corner. They're not too sure about it yet, but um, I wanna let them play out here while I get some stuff done. Water babies. Hopefully, your girls. Need some water? What are you thinking, huh? Think of this big world. You sure are pretty. Yeah. I had to stop for a photo oh it's cutting off my head I had to stop for a, a photo op of the baby um because they look so cute back there so anyways I'm going to do a couple of chores around here in coop and then this dog kennel around us plus the animal yard so they're triple protected but I'm going to leave Clovis out in the animal yard as long as she leaves the goats alone she's feisty um that way if anything does try to come in here she'll let us know so she'll probably try to play with it but we're gonna do that and let them play i'm a little bit worried about them being out here um just because this is a step that we didn't do with other chickens and i know people put chicks outside all the time like people have chicks that are fully grown grown up um outside but anything new for me gives me a little bit of anxiety so 
they look like they're enjoying it a little bit they're kind of scared um but i mean that's we're both a little scared because it's a little unknown for us so i'm gonna let them play here clovis will keep an eye on them for me if anything comes in here she'll let us know and we'll just be right there so we're not gonna be far i'm not gonna leave them out here and then go in the house and take a nap or anything who am i kidding i don't get to nap going are we hiding from the puppy or are we just oh how sweet are we just lazing around it's a good day for lazing isn't it i need to brush you again feel like you need brush every single day girl no treats i'm sorry quit that's rude she is so hateful I don't have Miss Piggy instead of Dolly. I don't have no more. So stop being mean to your sister. If you look, that one's easy to see, but there's other ones. We've got some growth going on. Just hoping that this, just hoping that all this rain coming doesn't, doesn't hurt them. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly add just a tiny bit of hay over top, just to try to help um, keep them in place just a little bit like teeny tiny amounts. Baby. Hi, Brigitte. They finally came out of their little hidey hole back there. Out exploring a little bit now. Well, Dixie down here are relaxing too, ain't you, baby? Huh? I'm slacking today. I am hot and tired. Yesterday we worked pretty hard. I'm working on the fence, so I'm a little tired. I got the stuff out there for me to build a temporary barrier around the gazebo, and I got my flag moved. Um, I need to buy me a new flag. I had it on the goat barn, and it was beating into the metal, and so it ripped it a little bit, and I didn't want that to happen again, so I went ahead and took it down and put it up there. I thought that was a good place for it. We had it on the house, but um, if the wind blows it and whips it, we could hear it at night. I never really paid attention to it until one night it was like super loud, and I went out and had to end up getting it down because it was bothering John. Um, and Lily said it done it all the time, but we just had noticed it that night. But I put it here. I think that's a good spot for it anyways. It's pretty. It works. So, me buy another flag, though to hang up there and um you know do away with that one but i'm gonna go out here and finish putting this temporary barrier up around the gazebo it won't be cute but it's just temporary um jonathan ended up coming over today and then they him and kim and the other kids went down to the creek the loud vehicle they went down to the creek here close to the house for a little bit so it's just me home which is put up and then i'll probably get the chicks put in the house they are enjoying it more now but i'm still worried about them like overheating and stuff even though there's like a breeze and whatnot i'm just one of those people so i'm gonna get the barrier put around it take the chicks in and then i can sit down and relax and maybe edit a video Hey, we are enjoying it out here. Yeah, now I feel almost guilty taking them in, but I don't want to leave them out here too long just because I'm a worrier and I need to go in the house and do a few things, so. 
I guess we gotta take them in. There'll be plenty more time outside, babies. Barrier worked for us. Not too bad. But that's going to be it for this video. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye, friends.